Okay, Shalom, Shalom. <laughs> this video is why I wear head covering. Why? Why on earth would I wear a scarf when it's hot outside? Because it's getting hotter. It's going to be summertime soon and it doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> it's rather peculiar. I'm a peculiar person. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so my first video I made about this, I'll link that down below. I think it's about 16 minutes long, but I'm going to just get into the gist of it. My other video that I have touches also on God's fierce punishment <laughs> in my life and me getting cow fungus. So it's kind of like a story time video. Um, the cow fungus story in itself is extremely fascinating and... Woo! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so let's just get into this. Why do I wear a head covering? It started when I watched Brandy's video. She was talking about her convictions about wearing a head covering and she said that when she wore it, she felt like a spiritual protection was over her and people looked at her differently, but it wasn't in a bad way. It was more like almost like a reverence. And I was like, I want that. Like if wearing a head covering gives me spiritual protection, I want that. If it's from the Most High, I want that. And so I was talking to God about it, like, way more in depth than the first two minutes of this video. <laughs> and plus, I've had other previous experiences. This is, like, when I started wearing head covering. <laughs> so I was praying about it. I was, like, telling him, if, if that's really what you do, I want that. I, wa I wanted it so bad. That sounded awesome. I was, like, in awe. It was awesome. I was in awe of what she was saying. And I was like, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I want that. So I was talking to him about it. <coughs> Went out and I bought a scarf from TJ Maxx for like $16.99 or something. It was probably cheaper than that. It was on sale. Um, and then I put it on my head and then I went to work. And then that whole night it sucked and I was frustrated and it kept falling off my head and I didn't like it and I was not having a good time. And... I was telling God this the whole time. I was telling him, oh, do you really want me to do this? I don't know. You have to tell me because I don't know what I'm doing. And so I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'm not supposed to do this. <coughs> and then the next day, I instinctively grabbed it out of the center console of my car and I wrapped it on my head and it was turban style and it came out perfect. It stayed in all night. It was good, and it felt in my spirit like, yes, I'm supposed to do this, and I decided I'm never taking it off. Like, we're good. I got the answer. This is what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing it. <laughs> and um, I still didn't have a full understanding like I feel like I do now. But, man, wait until you get into the understanding part because that's the best part of this whole video. So that happened, and then... uh then my work was like, why are you wearing that? It's a safety risk. And I was like, it's religious purposes. And they were like, okay, <laughs> we told you it's a safety risk. I was like, great. <laughs> I'm aware. Thank you. Um, and then at the point when my ex-boyfriend knocked it off my head slash ripped it off my head, in that moment, I realized he was filled with demons and those demons inside of him hate, 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 hate it. They hate me wearing a head covering. And that's when I really, like, had a revelation, like, whoa, like, this is serious. And it was during that time or in that time or shortly after that time that I realized whenever I take my head covering off, it's usually to go do something a little ratchet, like sin. And I shouldn't be doing that. And so I thought about that more like recently because I had this, I I, lear I learned the lesson, but I didn't learn it. I learned it so I knew it, but I didn't learn the lesson, if that makes sense. <coughs> so I realized this, but then I still found myself taking my head covering off to do uh, like, you know, stuff on Snapchat or whatever, whatever the case may be. People around me have their cute little hair and their cute little makeup and their cute little skinky outfits and I just want to fit in with them, which is fucking stupid. Why would I want to do that? Um, but I, I just found myself doing that. But no, <laughs> I, I learned it. I learned the lesson finally. Whenever I take off my head covering in almost any situation, like if it's to brush my hair, that's like one thing. But like 
no, any time where I'm like around people, <laughs> no, it's something, something bad, something bad or like ratchet or is not good sin. That's what it is. It's sin. It's like opening a gateway to sin. And so when I, when I figured that out, <coughs> I realized that's kind of like the spiritual protection that Brandy was talking about in that video. Now he's starting to get it. So then we had another day where I was at work and like the whole day at work, five, six hours at work, I was just talking to God about head covering. <coughs> and um, my experiences and my life and stuff, like what he's doing in me. And that is when I got the real revelation that the covering I, sh I should have already known this, but the covering, it's not a scarf, it's Christ. But having this on is like a representation of that. Because the order of marriage is God, the husband, the wife, the children. That's the order. So your husband's covering or man's covering is Christ. But he doesn't wear a headscarf. But I'm not married. And so for me, it's... Oh my god, I feel like I'm about to cry. <laughs> Why am I crying? <laughs> yeah, so one good thing about this is you can kind of take it apart. <laughs> You can use the end of it to wipe off your tears. So it's multifunctional. <laughs> wow, why am I crying? <laughs> God, can I please stop crying? I don't want to cry in this video. <laughs> I'm like happy though. <laughs> I'm not like upset or anything. This is not what I like doing. Um. <laughs> so anyway, back to what I was saying. It's my honor because having Christ be my covering is an honor. And um, I was just talking to God about this for like five hours at work and it really just sunk in the order of things and what it really means and I realized there is nothing <sighs> why am I like crying I really do not like <laughs> this <laughs> there's nothing more precious for me to wear than um a head covering because it's my honor and when I thought about that and on top of that the uh, my experiences of like having the actual like spiritual protection from it like <coughs> I don't know everything just came full circle and then also you have this fringe um so the thing with the fringe <laughs> read the bible what does the bible say about why we're supposed to wear a fringe it's so that we remember the law statutes and commands of the most high so that we will not forget them and so Usually, when I have this on and wrapped up correctly, I have fringe hanging from it like this, and I can see it in my peripheral vision. Isn't that supposed to be a front light for my eyes? Now, this is not on the full border, but when I do have fringes that go around the whole entire border, I'll wrap it the right way so they go like this. All the fringe will hang down all around the whole thing, and it'll look really pretty, but this... It's a constant reminder of what, like, what am I doing? What am I wearing? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. This is a reminder. I'm keeping the law, statutes, and commands of the Most High. I'm seeking His face. I'm being humble. That's another thing about this. People in the world, they wear their honor with pride. Like an Olympic athlete who wins a medal gonna wear that medal with pride but when you have a head covering on it is not pride it's the opposite it's humility 
it's a reminder. That's that's what I feel like this whole thing is. It's just a reminder of everything I just said. <laughs> um, is that it? I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's the gist of it. Oh, and then, I mean, we could get into the hair thing and practical applications. I think at this point, probably, hopefully, maybe, maybe not. Everyone has probably maybe... I'm not going to repeat myself with all those words again. You should know that when God gives you a command, <coughs> there is more than one reason for it. And so just having this physical covering on, I don't want to sound like mean towards my family or anything, but there's a lot of summer birthday parties in my family. And I think I'm kind of, I don't want to say I'm kind of hoping because <laughs> this is like mean, but I'm kind of just waiting for everyone to get lice from one of these parties and I'm not going to get it. And I'm going to tell them all the reason why I don't have it is because I cover my head as according to the word of the Mosiah, Haya, Asha, Haya. Um, I'm kind of like mean in my approach. Like you can imagine if everyone in your whole family, your huge family got lice, except for you. And you started saying this to every single person. Oh, well, I don't have lice because I wear head covering because I keep the commands of my God. <laughs> I have a little attitude. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's like, there's practical applications to wearing this. Um, and also all my scarves, um, uh, before I had all these scarves, which I got from the thrift store and they're all a dollar each, I had a bunch of sarongs and stuff. So I used to use those as like just everything you can wear, wrap them around you as like a beach wrap, or you can put them down as a picnic thing, like a blanket. Um, and you can use them to carry things and... They're just really practical pieces of large cloth. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I'll link my first video I made down below um, if you want to watch that for whatever reason. But, uh, yeah, that's all. Why do you wear a head covering? Why don't you wear a head covering? Um, for me, I mean, it took me a long time from when I started to really have all these life experiences where I realized all this stuff. It took a long time. But man, if you ever have anyone try to take your head covering off or rip your head covering off of you, that, <laughs> that's when it really sinks in <laughs> what it is you're actually wearing because it's not... It's not just a garment, you know? It's, it's, and then that's the same thing, like, with the Holy Spirit. <sighs> you know? I don't I don't know if I did a good job explaining this. This is a quality content that you get from my channel. <laughs> um, the last thing I wanted to touch on is some of the scripture, I think, in 1 Corinthians or 2 Corinthians. I don't know where it is. It says something that you wear... Women are supposed to wear this because of the angels um, and that it's their power. So I would say, ask the Most High what that means. Seek his face about it because he could tell you. I don't know. I, ha <laughs> I don't know. You got to ask him. He knows everything. I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all for this video <laughs> subscribe <laughs> hopefully i won't cry in my next one but who knows what's gonna happen so that's all shop along. <laughs>